Hi, it's good to be with you. Thanks for watching my views and news, some new stories for you. Firstly, Ethiopia, it seems, has granted pardon to some prisoners. Some political prisoners have been pardoned reportedly uh, in connection with the new Ethiopian year, including uh, a regional president, a former regional president. Secondly, Ethiopian Department of Emergency today shared details of how many people are in detention. We have been seeing pictures, videos showing people in detention at camps uh, in Ethiopia. And uh, today, the, and this, uh, these arrests intensified after the imposition of state of emergency in the Amhara region. Uh, government today shared details. How many camps have been established? How many people have been arrested under the state of emergency uh, proclamation? And thirdly, two Orthodox archbishops uh, spoke a few hours ago uh, about some issues. One is uh, calling for the release of those who have been detained without due process. And others spoke about tension in Silte, which is in southern Ethiopia. Firstly, viewers, uh, we are waiting for official announcement, but it seems that uh, Ethiopian government has granted pardon to some prisoners. And obviously, this uh, announcement is, uh, uh, this, this uh, pardon is linked to new Ethiopian years, Ethiopia, Eritrea, uh, celebrating new year, celebrations being seen. PM Abi has been seen with his uh, cabinet members, with regional presidents too. He was uh, seen in Benishangal Gomas when he visited Gurd there. And uh, today, on a Tuesday, uh, he and Zinash Tayacho hosted a meal for uh, the elderly people. He and Zinash were seen serving meal uh, to the guests. Uh, at uh, the palace in Addis Ababa. It is being reported by some Somali news sources that uh, a former Somali regional president has been granted pardon. Pardon. Has he been released or is he going to be released? If he has been pardoned, he will be released. Uh, we don't know uh, because we have not seen his pictures uh, out of uh, prison. But According to the Somali news sources, the man has been granted pardon. His name is Abdi Ele. Uh, Abdi Ele is a former uh, Somali regional president. And uh, he worked as Somali regional president uh, for eight years. His full name is Abdi Muhammad Omar. From 2010 till 2018, he worked as Somali region's president. He was a close ally of uh, uh, Malis Zenavi. And uh, then PMRB came to power in 2018. And uh, there was violence in the Somali region, Re uh, religious violence, ethnic violence on Oromia, Somali region border. Uh, Muslim, non-Muslim violence too. Abdi Ele resigned. Later he was arrested. He was accused of having committed grave human rights violations. He was arrested and he was charged with uh, attempt to overthrow the constitutional order. Since then, a trial has been underway against uh, Abdi Ele since 2018. But reportedly, he has been pardoned. What about other political prisoners? OLF leaders, Romo Liberation Front leaders are in prison for years. Entire OLF leadership is in prison. 
uh, when Hachalo was murdered after that uh, Ethiopian government disbanded Kyo movement and Kyo's were arrested. Thousands were arrested. How many are still in prison? No one knows. What about the new arrests in the Amhara region? where government has arrested members of parliament, journalists, activists, professors, teachers, etc. Any release? We don't know. But only uh, what we have received is that uh, Abdi Ile has been pardoned. We will write about in coming videos uh, if others have been released too. A similar pardon was granted to TPLF leadership too when Sabbat Naga and others were in prison. Uh, but they were released after they were uh, pardoned. Uh, and similarly, Jawar, Muhammad, Bakle, Garba, Hamza, Buran and others, they were also released last year in January. Um, pardoned by the government. Let's see what happens uh, with uh, Oromo, Liberation Front leaders and uh, Amhara. Uh, intellectuals, Amhara journalists, Amhara members of parliament who are in prison. Abdele seems to have been pardoned. Secondly, viewers, uh, Ethiopian Department of Emergency uh, today rejected uh, rumors that uh, Amharas are being kept in detention camps in Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital. Several Amharic news sources have been reporting for the past few days that in Addis Ababa detention camps have been established and there these uh, Amharas are being kept in miserable conditions. Uh, I did a video on these detentions uh, but uh, uh, I did not mention places. In Addis Ababa people are being arrested by the way. Arrested people are kept in uh, places in Addis Ababa, then they are moved out of Addis Ababa. So, according to the government, there are five camps where these detainees are being kept. Two in the Amhara region, uh, three in the Amhara region uh, and uh, four in the Amhara region and fifth one is in Awash, Afar region. The four in the Amhara are in uh, Gondar, one center, Bahirdar, Kambolcha and Shore of it. Four detention centers in Amhara, fifth one in Awash Arba and uh, 764 people have been arrested so far according to the Department of Emergency which is led by Damascan Tirone, Ethiopian intelligence chief. This department of emergency is uh, heading the military operation in the Amhara region. All command posts are under the state of emergency uh, setup. So, this is the number according to the government. Only 764 have been arrested so far. What about the living conditions? How are these prisoners being kept? The government says that uh, an investigative board has been uh, formed. This investigative board members and Human Rights Commission of Ethiopia members have visited uh, these detention camps. So, living conditions uh, are not what is being reported by some sources, news sources. We cannot trust the reports of investigative board because investigative board uh, has uh, MPs as members. Human Rights Commission of Ethiopia and Daniel Bakale visited only a wash or by thing. I don't think uh, commission has visited four detention camps in the Amhara region. So, government should grant access to Human Rights Commission of Ethiopia and international human rights organizations to visit the four camps in Amhara. Things will be clear then if these camps are visited by international human rights organizations. So far that access has not been granted. Daniel Bakale only visited detention camp in Awash Arba because their top prisoners are being kept like Christian Tadale, member of parliament, 
Yanis Buyalu, member of Amar Regional Council, and Casa Tishar, member of Addis Ababa City Council. So, government is rejecting the claims of uh, Amhara news outlets and activists who claim that thousands, tens of thousands have been arrested. Uh, but arrests are being confirmed and uh, hundreds could be in the pipeline as well. Uh, and uh, truth can only come out if independent journalists, human rights organizations are allowed access to the Amhara region. Thirdly, words, the two Ethiopian Orthodox Archbishops have issued statements. Uh, one spoke in connection with New Year. Abune Abraham is his name. Uh, he is general manager of the church. He is opposing detention of people without due process of law. He is demanding the release of those who have been put at camps. Uh, he also said there should be dialogue, there should be uh, peace and all should work for peace. But uh, arbitrarily people should not be detained. Uh, Abune Abraham, Abune Petros, the two archbishops are accused of being pro-Amhara and anti tigerai in the two year long war, Tegarai archbishops, Tegarai leadership accused these uh, archbishops of uh, fueling the war, backing the war on Tegarai. The two archbishops, especially Abune Abraham, uh, they are demanding the release of those who have been arrested without due process of law. Question is, though I back what they are saying, yes, people should not be arbitrarily detained. But did they make similar demand when Tegrayan were arrested? Did they issue this type of message back then? I don't think so. I have not seen, maybe they said something like that, but I did not say anything. The way they are condemning in a way, you can say, uh, they are condemning the detentions uh, of the Amhara people without naming Amhara. They should have been uh, active in 2022, in 2021 as well. But back then they stood with Ethiopian National Defense Force. Now, I have not seen any single picture of these archbishops standing with Ethiopian National Defense Force uh, backing military operation in the Amhara region. So, it means that church uh, is also, uh, I would not say split. But I would say that uh, the ethnicity which plays a role in Ethiopian politics, church is not free from ethnicity. And that is why we are saying that Tigray has established member of Silama. Uh, Romeo tried to establish Romeo Synod, it could not. Why? Because they believe that uh, the uh, Synod, main Synod is dominated by Archbishops of uh, Amhara ethnic group. The other Archbishop Abune uh, Petros spoke about the tension, religious tension in Silte, southern Ethiopia. And he claimed that in Silte, Muslim students failed an exam, Christian students passed the exam, and Muslim students are now uh, taking revenge. And that is the cause of religious uh, conflict there. These leaders should be very careful. I think they should equally treat all the issues faced by Christians and non-Christians in Ethiopia. Especially the two archbishops, Abu Abraham, Abu Nebrahim, the two are uh, accused of being hawks, of being uh, pro-Amhara and working for uh, dominance of Amhara ethnic.